Felicia stared at the neat lines of pills on the pop marked table next to the bed and felt nothing. She didn't remember lining them up. She couldn't remember checking into the dark and rubbing my tail room, but there she was. It stank of damp and alcohol. An upturned bottle of red wine formed a sticky crimson pool on the mottled orange carpet. The image should have made Felicia nauseous, but she was empty. Felicia was exhausted. Her body was drained and her mind dull. Her cheeks were wet from crying. It was all she could do lately. She lay back on the worn orange cover on top of the bed. She closed her eyes to sleep. Nothing. She opened her eyes again and there were the pills. Perfect, shiny, white discs. They were soothing. Felicia counted four lines of ten. Beside them was a tall glass of water. A fluorescent light flickered overhead. Felicia searched for a rhyme. She should be busting words in this sordid scene. Her hand reached for the Tylenol with its bright blue edge. Pimp my pill. She mumbled to herself, trying to raise a smile. But she was spent. If she couldn't rhyme, she was nothing. All she'd ever had were words. She held the little round pill between her thumb and forefinger. She stared at it and then placed it on her tongue. The fingers of her left hand closed around the glass of water. She took a sip and the pill was swept away. She had a sense of doing the right thing as she worked her way along the lines. The analgesic slipped down her unresisting throat. Dimly aware of the soft click of a door closing, Felicia let her head sink into the thin pillow and was peaceful. Her star had crashed and burned. Nearby a bike purred like a panther, watching and waiting. Felicia drifted on the sound, letting it take her. 